Hi, this is Lila. I have another quick Halloween treat for you and this one is called Halloween Witch Hats. Here's what you need. You need a package of Keebler Fudge Stripes cookies, a container of milk chocolate frosting, any brand you want to use, some Hershey Kisses, and some sparkle gel or writing gel. Okay, I don't know if that's what they call it. I don't use these very often. <laughs> but anyway, that's all you need. Just four ingredients for this cute little Halloween treat. And I'll be right back with you and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, I'm back. We're ready to assemble our little witch hat. I have one here already assembled. And I'll show you quickly how to do it. Take your fudge stripe cookie, turn it upside down, take your Hershey's Kiss that you unwrapped, take a little bit of the frosting, canned frosting, and put it on the, on the bottom of the Hershey's Kiss, like so, and then place it on top of your cookie and give it a little press. And there you have it. Really simple. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little rim around it, around the hat, because I want to decorate it with some sprinkles. Okay, so I'm just going to take my gel, my writing gel. This is black. And I'm going to turn the cookie and put my little rim around the hat like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take my sprinkles and my jar here, I mean my bowl, excuse me, and I'm going to take my little sprinkles and I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit all around the gel that I just put on the brim of the hat. Shake off the excess I missed a little bit over here. Okay, like so. And there's one. Okay, gives it a little definition. Okay, I'll do one more. I'm going to use this kind of sprinkle. Let me put my little hat over there. Okay, and I'm going to use the one that I already previously did. Take your fudge stripe cookie, turn it upside down, take your Hershey's Kiss, put a little bit of the milk chocolate frosting on the bottom, press it down in the center of the opening there, take your gel, go around the cookie like this. You can do it holding it up, whatever is easier for you. You do it. And then I'm going to take some of these sprinkles. And I'm going to put a little bit of these sprinkles. Can you see that? And then I'll just show you the cookie. And there it goes. There you go. See how cute those came out? And there you have it. My two little witch hats. Okay. And it's easy. And I'll show you the... Um, finished product when I come back. And here's my finished product. Halloween witch hats. Happy Halloween! Hi, I just wanted to come back and show you how I packaged the uh, treats that I made. Um, here's the pretzels that I made with the sprinkles and the mini chocolate chips. I just put them in a little cellophane bag, tied a little Halloween ribbon around it, and there you go. Makes a great gift. And as for the other goodies, this is going to fall, so let me put it down. I have this cute little box that I got from Wilton. It says, warning, eat at your own risk. And I'm going to tilt it forward. I'm going to try not to get a glare. Hopefully there's no glare there. Can you see that? 
There are all my little treats that I made. My little Twinkie ghost, my witch's hat, and I also made some Nutter Butter peanut butter ghost also. And I threw in some Kit Kat bars and some uh, Lindor truffles. And the truffles have the pumpkin face on them and the little ghost. And there's a couple of um, Hershey's Kisses in there. I'll open it up so you can see. And there's everything that I made. And it, it, it looks beautiful. It looks like you bought it at a candy store. And it's easy to make, easy to do. And it makes a great gift. Great for your friends, co-workers, neighbors, your loved ones. Uh, get the kids involved. There's nothing hot except for the uh, chocolate, but once it gets to a warm temperature, it's pretty safe as long as you supervise them. But um, like I said, I just did them watching TV, and uh, it was fun. It was really fun doing these. I love the way they came out. I love how the ghosts have their own little personality, and you can see my little witch's hat in there. And like I said, just, you know, use your creativity and, you know, make your package or box or goodie bag the way you want to do it. So, I'm really happy about the way these came out. And I didn't even have to turn on my oven. All I had to do was just warm up the chocolate. Okay, and now I'm trying to get this all back in there. And there you have it. Halloween trick or treats. and Halloween pretzel rods. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.